it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with day 30 of 30 inks 30 days we are at the end can you believe that I can't believe that um yeah I can't believe it's 30 it's it's day 30 like wow this month has gone by so fast my 30 inks months always do go fast I think because I have the video every day and we're doing all the things every day and it's just wow it just blew right past us didn't it I can't believe that it's already the end of September and that um tomorrow is October I'm so happy that tomorrow's October, though. I love October. It's my most favorite month of the year, and not just because it's my birthday month. I just genuinely love October because I love fall. Like, I just love fall. And, um, I mean, I live in California now, so the fall season is a little different than it is, like, in the Midwest or in Texas, um, which, I mean, fall is different in both of those places, too. But, um, yeah, I just love fall. Like, the air starts turning, like, cooler, and it's just... I mean, not right now. Right now, it's fire season, but <laughs> but eventually, later in the month, it will cool down and start being nice, and yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. I'm not currently near any of the fires that are happening. I do know people that are kind of too close for comfort at this point, um, at the recording of this video anyway. Um, and um, yeah, we're just going to hope and pray that everybody is... Um, Okay, so yeah, so okay, and on that note, let's move on to some ink. That seems like, a, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not a good segue, but anyway, so Yamaguri, I have enjoyed this combination. Um, I'm actually, as always, recording this the day before on my lunch break. I'm about to go to work at work instead of working at home, um, and I have a training for um, a new work thing that I get to learn to do. And I'm very excited and um, this pen is going to be awesome for taking notes for that because um, I don't know like I don't know if there's like a hand I don't know what's happening but I know that I'm going to want to learn as much as possible about this thing because um, I'm eventually gonna get to like help I don't think I'll have to train them but I will be the person that they come to with questions about this new thing so I'm very excited and um, yeah I want to know everything that I need to know and uh, yeah this was supposed to happen last year and it didn't and then all of everything that happened this year has happened and so it's finally it's finally happening and I'm very excited about it so anyway <laughs> enough about work stuff um yeah let's talk about ink so this is going to be a little bit of a longer video um even though I have to like really I have to like control myself and keep myself like in in focus <laughs> and get this stuff done um but uh, we do have a lot of stuff to cover um i have in the past in like a recap video and i think i'm just not going to i think i'm not going to do that because i'm just going to do it all here um so yeah so there probably won't be like a separate recap video but um i don't know yeah so yeah because i'm going to just go through all that here so i don't i don't need to do another video recapping the recap so Anyway, let's move on to our ink of the day. Um, like I said, Urshizuku Yamaguri. It's one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite brown. Um, it's an excellent ink. It's very well behaved. It looks amazing. Um, it's like, for some reason, these splats, and I'm not sure what that is about. These splats have shimmer in them. And I don't, and the splats on this page, too, also have shimmer in them. So I don't. I don't, I don't know what's going on because this ink is not a shimmer ink. So I don't know if this converter had, I don't put shimmer ink in my vanishing points because they are hard to clean out. So I don't, yeah, like my swatch isn't shimmery. I don't know where the hell the shimmer came from. So, <laughs> so that is a mystery. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just because it's this pen. It just like the rod in has just like glittered itself i don't know i don't keep shimmer inks in a vanishing point ever like ever i've never done put a shimmer ink in a vanishing point so i don't yeah i don't know what that's about it looks very pretty though <laughs> i don't know maybe i use that converter in a different pen i have no idea i yeah i have no idea but anyway that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about day 30's ink which is the illustrious Lamy Dark Lilac. I uh, 
got my bottle on eBay because I came into fountain pens after this bottle has like seen better days um or the packaging anyway um I like came into fountain pens I want to say maybe around the time maybe like just after the ink like disappeared but I didn't know anything about it I do have a uh, pilot uh, or not a pilot a Lamy Safari dark lilac I was able to get one of those um, like I said, I didn't know anything about the ink because when I started at the time in fountain pens, it was like I had a prayer, had a, not a prayer, a Twisby mini. And, um, and then I was like, and then everybody suggested like a Lamy or a Lamy Safari or a Pilot Metropolitan. And so I ended up getting those pens and I, yeah, I don't know. Either way, I missed out on the ink and then everybody was like, oh, Lamy Dark Lilac, Lamy Dark Lilac. And so one day had some money burning a hole in my pocket and I went to eBay and I found a bottle on eBay that was expensive um but I decided because I had the extra money burning a hole in my pocket that it was worth it to me to get it and so I bought it and now I have a bottle of Delamy Dark Milk. <laughs> It's honestly not just because it's like ex like exclusive at this point and hard to get. It's legitimately one of the best purple inks I've ever used. Um, yeah, it's well behaved. It's beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like if you are not if you are not um, familiar. I always say that it's like it's it's a warmer purple to me. Um, and this swatch, especially with that sheen, it just, I don't know, it looks velvety to me. It's just, it's lush and beautiful, and I just love it. I love it. Um, so, yeah, Salami so Dark Lilac has its cult following for reasons, and I wish that Lamy would just reissue the ink. Like, all anybody wants from Lamy is this ink. I mean, that's not entirely true, like, obviously, but, like... If Lamy reissued this ink, because Azurite is not even close to this. Azurite is much of a cooler purple, and I don't like it nearly as much. Um, actually, I would, I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but it is not high on my list of favorite purples. Um, actually, I wouldn't even say it's a favorite purple. It's not high on my list of purples. <laughs> but Lamy Dark Lilac is, I love it. I love it so much. And, yeah. And that is the ink that we're going to use. I do have, like I said earlier, a Safari that is the Lamy Dark Lilac Safari. It's the matte finish. It has black clip and um, stuff like that. Like, And I think a black nib as well. I don't know. I switched my nibs around, so I don't... Who knows? Um, but yeah, so it's beautiful. But I love this ink in this pen. I love using... This is probably my favorite Lamy Safari is this powder. It's Powder Rose, I think is what it's called. Powder... Yeah, Powder Rose. And I actually swapped the nib. I have a Lamy LX rose gold, and I um, swapped the nib out. I took the nib out of it and put it in this pen because I also love a Lamy broad nib. And um, yeah, I want to I want to replace all my Lamy nibs with fines and broads, and maybe keep like one of each of the rest around. But anyway, that has nothing to do with Lamy dark lilac. So let's go ahead and get our stuff done. Oops, thirty ink. 30 days and I have just inked this so it's probably kind of juicy um day 30 I actually love this ink in a Lamy Fine Nib but I wanted to see it wanted to see it so that's why we have a broad nib for me I have the broad nib like I said
Oh, it's so pretty. I love the shading. I just love the sh I love the color of the ink. Oh, I love I love when the spots do that. Uh. Oops. Nope. I'm one of those uh, people that like hates when the um, the logo is not on top where it should be. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Those are our spots for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the chromatography next. I meant to do that first, but uh, got busy talking and then started got like getting busy writing. So there we go, that's what that looks like, and we will revisit this in a bit after we do all the rest of our stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you right off, I just love writing with this ink. Um, no, yeah, no recap of that necessary because I just love writing with this ink. Uh, Alright. And as I said before, I purchased this thing from eBay.
came into fountain pens just after the dark lilac phase. I was able to find the pen, but the ink was elusive or out of my price range when I did find it. Uh, one day I had both money and found it online at an expensive price, but one I was willing to pay that day. And now the bottle is mine. <laughs> this actually was a story. There's a story with this ink. Um, I had ordered it from eBay and um, the person selling it also had uh, Lamy Petrol. I think I told this story sometime when I used Lamy Petrol for something. Um, but um, you might not have seen that video. I don't even know what video that was. Uh, but anyway, so um, when I got my package, I actually had a bottle of Lamy Petrol in the, in the, in the package. And I was like, uh oh, oh no. So I contacted them and said, hey, just want you to know here's what happened um and they ended up they must have had like extra bottles of this ink because they're like oh gosh I'm so sorry I'm going to send you a bottle for my personal collection and um you send that one back to me and we'll get it all straightened out so I ended up sending it back to them um I think they even reimbursed me for the shipping even though I was like it's fine whatever I don't care um and they sent me a bottle like right away before I'd even like gotten a shipping label like before I even knew it I had a new tracking number for a bottle and then they also sent me like a bunch of purple ink samples and then I just turned around and sent this sent the petrol back and then um yeah so yeah so that was kind of a like a bummer but it was a bummer that worked out it was a bummer when I opened the box and it wasn't dark lilac and I was like oh gosh Oh my gosh. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So the box is banged up because of me. I have, um, yeah, I kind of keep this box around and carry it around and just use it and abuse it. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so yeah. So I did get my bottle of Lamy Dark Lilac. Would I spend this much money on an ink again? Probably, probably not. That's one of the reasons if like Twisby comes out with a pen, I pretty much snap it up right away because I know like I will know later I will want it and wish that I had gotten it. Um, or Lamy, if they come out with like a special edition pen and ink that I is a color I enjoy, then I will snatch it up because I have gotten the limited edition inks later and always paid way too much for it. So I'd rather have it um, I didn't do that this year with Lamy Mango because I don't enjoy yellow and um, I did that the year before with Lamy Bronze and that ink is just orange and I actually don't like it at all. So, so I decided after Lamy Bronze, it was like, unless it's a color that I absolutely love. So like, obviously like a purple or a teal or a pink or whatever, um, or whatever I love at the moment when it comes out. Like, if I'm in love with it, then I'll get it. And if I'm not in love with it, it's fine. Like, I didn't get... I, I got this... I got the All-Star this year, but I didn't get any of the Safaris this year. Not even the purple one. I didn't um, care for how everything was just all the same color. Um, and I didn't get the ink. I got Tourmaline the ink, but I didn't get Mango the ink because I just didn't like it. So, yeah. So... I'm okay with those decisions. I don't think in a year that I'm going to wish, or two, or five, that I'm going to wish that I had Lamy Mango, so I'm okay with my decision there. I would have missed out on Tourmaline once that it goes away, but um, yeah. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that because I have it. So usually what I do, if a Lamy comes out with a special edition that I like and it comes out with an ink, I will get the pen, and then I will get a bottle of the ink, and then I will also get um, a pack of cartridges for the pen because sometimes you just need a cartridge so um yeah so that's what I do and also when I ordered this bottle of ink it came with some cartridges as well so yeah so I'm yeah I'm set on the Lamy Dark Lilac one day this bottle will be gone and I'll be sad um but for now it is here and I am in love and yeah so that's my very long story about my Lamy Dark Lilac. And let me go ahead and splat this page because I did not do that. And then we will get on with the rest of the show. Because I have to go to work. And um, you probably have things to do. And you want to know about the contest. Of course. So we better like get, we better get going. Better get going. You've all been waiting so patiently for the contest and I appreciate that so thank you so these are the spots yeah. 
so pretty. Oh man, I just love this color so much. Okay, cool. so we will set this off to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the coloring cards of our inks that we have had this um, this month. And then I'm also going to show you my Hobonichi um, in case you aren't following me on Instagram. So we have Colorverse Vortex, I don't know, is it easier to see them off the ring? So Colorverse Vortex Motion, it's that purpley. Um, well, here's what our calendar looks like. Let's just, let's just start there. Before I'll do, I'll go back to these. Um, this is what our calendar looks like. This is our, these are our colors for the month. It is very dark and I was trying to maybe not, like, I was trying to maybe avoid that. But here is um, Vinta Harlequin compared to Lamy Dark Lilac. Like the purple, base purples are different and the sheen is different, but they're both very lovely. This is Yamaguri um, right next to it. We have uh, one thing that I think is interesting, even though the inks, the cards themselves don't look that close, Petrichor and um, Sea Glass, at least in the swatches on these paper, papers look really similar. Like this is obviously more green and this is obviously like, like not green, but even just, even like the, the little, um, these little spots look, I mean, they're different colors, but they kind of look like they go together. So yeah. And I have been, when I was making, um, when I was making samples, I was doing some fly spots. Ooh, let's take a moment to appreciate that page again. Um, sometimes I write lyrics down. I've posted these on Instagram, uh, but these pages where I haven't used them for 30 inks, like I don't want them to like, just like, oh, here we go. I don't want them to just like go to waste. So this is, I forget what ink this is. Is this Lamy Dark Lilac? I feel like this is Lamy Dark Lilac because I feel like I remember people freaking out when I did this. Um, but yeah, so I was when I was making samples, I was just splatting some of the extra, extra stuff. Um, this is Tutsuji. This is Tono and Limbs. I actually have no idea what color this one is. Um, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't look like anything that I used in a pen. Um, yeah, and then I also have a couple. I closed this before it dried, but there's dark lilac over here. I think this is Yamaguri. I don't know. Mont Blanc, um, Corn Poppy. No, this is Yamaguri. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. So that's fun. Okay. Or like I make notes about the videos. <laughs> I actually use, usually use a different notebook for this, but, um, or, oh, I did that. I did that because I love those colors together. Um, I just, oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Anyway, like let's, we don't need to go through this whole Hobonichi. Let's go to our, these are from last time. Let's go to, okay. So we have Vortex Motion, which is, it kind of reads black, but it's really like a dark purple, like a burgundy with green sheen. So it's, ugh, this ink is so complex and interesting. Oh, I love it. I should have like probably pulled the chromatographies out, but I don't feel like getting through them. And so I'm not going to do that, but yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do like a picture. I'll post a picture on Instagram of all the chromatographies laid out. Um, and then we have uh, Lamy Tourmaline and Twisby Midnight Blue. And then we have Pelican Amethyst. Pelican Edelstein Amethyst. I ended up, I forget, I like did something here. I didn't like how it looked, so I taped some Tomoe River paper over it and rewrote it. Um, yeah, Troublemaker Inks Petrichor. I love this ink. Sailor 50 States, Texas. 
10 out of 10, fire on fire. The thing cracks me up because this was a, uh, this actually, these all were chosen. This was a gift from Ms. Turtle. Um, this was chosen by uh, Count over Creepy Nibs. This was chosen by Ms. Turtle over Pickwick Turtle. This was chosen by my friend Casey. And Casey um, made a list before 30 Ink started and was trying to guess which inks that I would choose. And I think I screwed her whole list up by using a bunch of new inks that I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> like all those troublemaker inks and the Van Diemen things. Um, yeah, I think I screwed up her whole list. So Casey, I'd be interested to see how many, now that it's done, how many, how many got right. But the thing that cracks me up about this one is she was able to pick this ink. And so she picked it, but it wasn't on her list. <laughs> I love that. Sailor Ink Studio 723. This was chosen by Melissa. I used that in my Falcon. Um, Toner and Limbs, Burma Tourmaline. I love this one. I love this one so much. Jacques Urban, 1798, Amethyst de Laurel. Vinta Inks, Night Sky Tala Shimmer, Night Sky Shimmer Tala, 1980. I love, I love this ink. Standard Bindery Clear Seas. Again, I can't believe that I found a bottle of this. Corn poppy red, which next to this ink looks kind of orangey. I mean, corn poppy kind of makes sense, but like, it, like the on the page anyway, it looks kind of orangey, like red orange. Ugh. California Olivost. Oh my gosh, this is one that I did not expect to love as much as I did for sure. Detrimentus Alexander Hamilton, a gift from Ms. Turtle. Birmingham Pen Company, Slag Gray, old, new, or sorry, old and new. And I did use both on here, on this page. Can you tell what's what's what? I can. I can for sure. But yeah. Uh, Sailor Ink Studio, 531. Tono and Limbs, Burma Tourmaline. Or, sorry, not Burma Tourmaline. Boundary Between Like and Dislike. This was a... Um, your request? Pilot of Roshizuku Tsukiyo? I didn't really write anything. It was my mom's birthday and she loves blue so I picked some blues. Blue pen and blue ink. Blackstone Lemur Lime. Love this. Pilot of Roshizuku Tsutsuji. Troublemaker inks. Milky Ocean. I love this ink. I love this ink so much. I love it. Hi. Hi, I love it. Vinta Inks Harlequin Bodwheel 1920. This was also another viewer request. Sorry, Carolyn, I didn't get to the rest of your viewer requests, but I have them in mind for future videos. Van Diemen's Black Tongue Spider Orchid. Love this ink too. Love this. Love, love, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This was originally featured in uh, June because I got a sample from Pen Pen Melissa. Colorverse Matter. This was originally featured in uh, April's 30 Inks 30 Days because it was a originally a sample from my wonderful friend. Um, this was, I used my Architect nib on that that I just gotten. So then we have Birmingham Pen's Cranberry Twinkle, which was another viewer request. Sailor Gentle Pesh, which was indirectly a viewer request. The specific ink, ink wasn't chosen, but uh, requested, but uh, a dusty pink was, and this is the dustiest pink that I currently own. Troublemaker Sea Glass, I love, loved, loved this one. And Pilot Rojizuku Yamaguri, and then I haven't done the 30th yet, but that's where Lamy Dark Lilac will sit, so that's exciting. So those are all of our inks for the month. Um, that is a pencil. Um, yeah, look. I just love, I just love how it turned out. This is a great month. I hope that you um, enjoyed all of these inks, like seeing them being worked with. 
Um, I know a lot of you have added uh, some new favorites or some, added some new inks to your to your own wish lists. So I'm glad that I could help out with that. Also, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I originally was going to write 30, 30 days, September 2020, blah, 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 one letter for every day. I don't know why I bother doing that because I never, I made myself finish this one, but even like, I just never did it. Like, I just need to not do that anymore because it's never going to happen. So anyway, here's our Hobonichi calendar. I love it. I just love it so much. Still though, I have to say... Of the spreads that I did this month, the Califolio Olivost is and the Alexander Hamilton are is still my favorite spread. This is everything. I love it so much. But also, I love these two together. So I actually have two favorite spreads this time. Like I just I couldn't decide. I love these inks, especially that one. I love, ugh, especially that one. I just love both of these inks, but these inks were also introduced to me by um, some awesome people, and that makes me happy too. And then these ones, this ink was a gift from another awesome person, and this ink is a beautiful green that makes me think of another awesome person. Like, I just, yeah. Like, aside from these two, just, oh, I just love, I love this so much. I love this so much. This was my favorite spread. So anyway, I have rambled on far longer than I need to about ink and stuff. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm not forgetting the contest. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, oh, chromatography. It's, I don't know, it's pretty dry. This is what dark lilac looks like. Lots of pink. A little magenta, a little purple. Oh, stunning. I know I always say that word, but come on. What else, how, what else would you use to describe this? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, the contest. All right, so I actually have the box right here. Um, I had a few vials that I didn't get a chance to make yet because of when I when I inked the pen, I guess I just didn't make vials. So I have five vials that I need to fill still. <laughs> so, but this is what 30 ink vials looks like in a box. And some lucky, lucky person is going to win all of these, except these will be full, filled with ink. I just wanted to show you what 30 vials looks like. So yeah, so I will, um, probably later tonight after I get home or tomorrow or something, I will um, fill these and make sure that they are good to go. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so awesome. And then, so what I did is I wrote on the label and then I put like a little swatch of what the ink looks like. Um, I like to do splat labels, but if I'm just doing like one at a time, it's a lot less messy and a lot less wasteful to just individually do do the little, the little, the little bloops. So what I do is up that when I've done filling the ink, the syringe will, um, usually has a tiny bit of ink in it. And so I just kind of like open it up and, yeah, and then just like get, put a little dot on the label and it spreads really nicely. So, oh, there's one. Look at Milky Ocean. Like that does chromatography. And where, I think it's a sea glass. Yeah, a sea glass does the same thing too. So you can see the like dual shading. This is easier to see in person. I don't know if it's coming in on camera, right? But this one definitely is like, look how pretty. Awesome. Cool, so anyway, this is the box of samples that you'll order. you will be entered to win if you choose to enter the contest. It will look a lot nicer than this. This is I'm just storing it like this for now. Um, the presentation will be a little nicer. Um, but yeah, so um, I want you... Okay, so first off, the rules. I'm going to open this so you can look at it. Um, the rules. Um, basically, the rules are I'm going to ask you a question, and in the comments... I want you to leave the answer to that question and you can make other comments as well um but yeah so if i 
so yeah so i just want to know to enter the contest you must first be willing to share your address with me i will do nothing with your address other than mail you this package um that's it and uh, this is open to international people international pen friends um if your country will accept a package from the u.s then i will mail it to you i have no problem like whoever if so if you live i know i do have some international viewers so if you want to play along you're eligible i it's fine i will have to go to the post office and stand in line and fill out a customs form it's not a big deal like honestly i'm fine doing that um so yeah so i don't yeah if your country will accept a package from the united states i will mail it to you if you win that's that's that um this contest is not sponsored by youtube at all i just i think i need to say that i think that's part of like the rules of doing a giveaway um it's not sponsored by youtube it's sponsored by me and my ginormous ink stash <laughs> um yeah and so the prize is this giant box of samples now i'll probably throw in a little like i'll write you a letter and i'll put in i'll probably put a little something something extra in there like whatever but the actual general prize is 31 ink samples and it's 31 because we had slag gray which has a new formula and an old formula and i want to make sure that you had both so you can make your own decisions about it maybe you liked the new formula even though i'm not a huge fan or maybe you want to see how they can compare them yourself so yeah so anyway so that's the deal so 31 inks in 30 days <laughs> um yeah so what i want you to do to enter the contest in the comments i want you to tell me which of your which of these inks that i used this month was your favorite um i can put a list in the description there's also a playlist of this month's 30 inks 30 days so you can go i mean you don't have to watch every video but you can look at that also if you want to um, or my instagram also has them but i will leave a list in the description box so you can easily choose or easily like remember what the names are anyway hopefully hopefully i mean hopefully some of you have a favorite um i have a couple favorites obviously because i love um Uli Vost and alexander hamilton i also love this ink um i think the winning ink of 30 inks 30 days though was my sailor seven uh, two three because i had that in my pilot falcon and i refilled that pen uh after the initial fill twice and i considered doing it a third time and then didn't but yeah i just love that ink that's that the spots are still drying so i don't wanna i don't wanna ruin yeah these spots are still drying i'm not gonna i don't want to get ink everywhere so anyway so yeah sailor ink studio 723 was probably my most used ink out of the whole thing because i had to refill that pen and the first time I filled it, I syringe filled it, I think. Or maybe it was the second time. I syringe filled it one time and still had to fill it another time. I know it's the Con 40 and it's tiny, but yeah. My favorite pen of 30 inks, 30 days was the, the Pilot Falcon as well because I used that twice. I used it here and then I used it on, I think, Pilot Eroshizuku 2G. Yes. I just love writing with that pen so anyway so yeah so awesome so this was probably my favorite overall ink at least the most used i had to refill the pen a bunch of times because i loved writing with it um this is my favorite spread of the day of the of the month along with this one how pretty are those colors together though okay anyway so yeah, so the contest will be open until Monday, October 5th, because I know not everybody, uh, especially now that this is kind of a longer video, not everybody has time to watch the video. So I'm going to give everybody over the weekend and then Monday, October 5th, I'm going to close the contest and I will do a, a drawing and I will choose a random comment picker. And if it chooses a comment that doesn't have an answer to the question, then um, I'll have to draw another one. But yeah, so... Um, and I think that it will, um, I think the comment picker also, like, I think I can configure it to, like, remove duplicate com comments or whatever. Anyway, 
basically, if it chooses your comment and you haven't answered the question, which is the only thing you have to do to enter the contest, um, then I'll choose a different, I'll choose a different one. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so just let me know what your favorite ink was. Also, if you were playing 30 inks, this isn't for the contest. I'm just curious to know if you were doing your own 30 inks, uh, which of your inks that you worked with was your favorite? Or do you have a couple favorites that you really like? Um, yeah, just because it's fun to know that. I think. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me for this past, um, for this past month. I will be back in November to do 30 inks, 30 days, November. And my current plan right now is to use only ink flight samples. I'm not sure if I will stick to that plan by the time uh, November gets here, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I have a lot of ink sample, ink flight samples that I haven't used or played with. Um, I don't know if I'll stick to one pen or if I'll use a couple pens or, if I'll just go crazy with inking pens like I always do, that's probably what I'll do. Um, it's helpful, especially if I need to like pre-film some videos. So um, yeah, so anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm rambling at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a lovely 30 inks, 30 days yourself in this month of September. Thank you for being here and for watching and for uh, commenting and um, uh, good luck entering the contest. Um, if I could send ink to all of you, I totally would, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, so it's going to be great. I am very much looking forward to uh, finding out who wins, and we will find that out on Monday. And, um, yeah. All right, I have rambled on, like I said, far too long, and I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, yeah, the videos are going to uh, slow down in October, uh, but I will be back very soon with more inky fountain penny fun time <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to enter the contest in the description or in the description in the comments below tell me what your favorite ink was of the month and yeah and i look forward to talking to you soon take care love you bye